I received another batch of tomatoes from a friend and a lot of these are overripe. So what I'm going to do, or what I'm doing, is I'm going to freeze them. But first, I need to get the skins off. So I put them in this boiling water. And they've been in here less than a minute. And that's just enough to get the skin where it's easy to pull off. What I do is I just take tomato, put a little X on the bottom of it, and that'll be my starting point from when I get ready to peel them. They're very juicy. They're very good tomatoes. They'll make very good sauce, pasta sauce, whatever I want to use them for. When I take them out of this container, I put them in a bowl and I'm going to let them cool a bit before I start peeling them. You see they're ready to come out already. Doesn't take long. And because they're hot, they'll steam a little bit more in this bowl to get ready to get that peel off of there easy. And I've tried canning these and they come out okay. It's just the time. I think it's, I, I'll use them fast enough during the year so that I don't need to can them. even though they would be shelf stable. I can't get that one last one in there, can I? I'm going to finish doing these, then we'll come back and go through the peeling process. Tomatoes have cooled off some, and what I'm going to be doing now is peeling them and taking off the stem end. See how easy that comes off? Just grab a hold of it. Pull it on off. And when you get to the stem side, you want to make sure you get that stem and that hard piece of tomato out of there. Or in, in any imperfections that are on the tomato that you don't want to freeze and have in your frozen tomatoes. See how simple that is? And they're still intact. They didn't have a chance to really cook, though they did get warm through. I'm going to finish doing the rest of these, and when we come back, We'll go through the process of how I'm going to vacuum seal it.
These are my peeled tomatoes. It's a lot of juice in there, so I'm going to also freeze that juice with them. A quick and easy cleanup technique I use is just put a plastic bag in a bowl and then put all the trimmings as I go along in that bowl. And then I can just wrap it up and throw it in the trash. Got my tomatoes. They're all peeled. And I've got some bags here set aside. I've got just regular bags, and I've also got my vacuum seal bags. Because there's so much liquid in here, I usually put the tomatoes in these plastic bags first, and then get out most of the air, and then stick them in the vacuum bag for longer term storage. Then I use the vacuum sealer to seal them. So let's do this. There's no certain amount I do, it's just whatever fits in the bag. Okay. I'll hold off sealing that because there's going to be a lot of juice in there that I'm going to have to put in these individual bags. juice in each of the bags. Now when I take these plastic bags to get a lot of the air out of it, I just sort of Fold it over, squishing out that air, and pulling them closed. And it usually comes up with a pretty good seal. If it doesn't, I just do it again. I think I mentioned why I do it this way. If not, I'll say that I do it this way because the vacuum sealer will pull up too much juice while it's pulling out the air. And I don't want the juice to go inside the vacuum sealer. <laughs> 